Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening to all Denarians on the go and in the know, wherever you may be. The new CEP, Currency Exchange Planner, is a must-have for both pre- and post-RV exchange planning. The link is in the description panel below. Tell them that the Denarian sent you so you get the extra pre-negotiated discount as my subscriber. Today is November 16, 2019. Know that today, we are one day closer to our goal than yesterday, and we all cross the finish line together. I would like to announce a special broadcast that will be coming up today on Vital Brad's YouTube channel. He will be doing a one on one discussion match you do not want to miss with Dinar Investor, so be sure and look out for that video. I put Brad's channel link as well as Dinar Investor's link in the description below this video. Be sure to subscribe to their channels while you are there, they post a lot of great information packed videos in regards to this investment. I am being told, you don't want to miss this one. First article of interest. Departments apply to settle their salaries and get advances. 16th November, 2019 Iraq, al Rafidain Bank announced that many government departments have applied to settle their salaries with our bank and then get a MasterCard International card. The bank's media office said in a statement received to Shafak News that the bank receives a lot of requests from the state departments and institutions for the purpose of settling their salaries with the bank electronically and then be covered by personal advances launched by the bank. He pointed out that the bank offered many loans and advances that belong to employees and even citizens and they can go to the nearest branch to see them. Next article of interest. Newspaper. Demonstrators demand the dismissal of the government. An attempt to rid solder of embarrassing the street. 0932, 16th November 2019 Baghdad. Al Arabi Al Jadid newspaper said on Saturday that the demand of the Sarah coalition to dismiss the government of Prime Minister Adel Abdul Mahdi is an attempt to rid Sadr's leader, Mr. Muqtada Al Sadr, from embarrassing the street. The newspaper said in a report seen by Slash Information Slash, that, the current consultations among most of the blocs is no longer about the dismissal or resignation of the government, but centered on a reshuffle may affect eight ministers and senior government officials, most notably Abu Jihad al-Hashemi, director of the office of Abdul Mahdi. She added that, the pursuit of the Syrian coalition to question the prime minister in parliament is no longer effective even if it happens. Because, Syrian, himself is aware that he does not have enough votes to dismiss him with the majority in favor of his survival, noting that, the step can be considered from Muqtada al sadr to the street to get rid of the popular embarrassment that took place, and it seems that he sought to dismiss Abdul Mahdi, but the rest of the blocs failed him. The newspaper pointed out in its report that, the current political movement with parliamentary and government efforts is to approve a new election law and the formation of the commission, to provide this as an achievement of the first political reforms, with efforts to mature proposed amendments to the constitution. Next article of interest. Al-Amiri. Supporting the letter of reference. Must be translated by the presence of the parliament. 0940 to 16th November 2019 Baghdad. MP of the Coalition of Saran Ga'a Balamiri, on Saturday, the political blocs in support of the mistakes of the religious authority on the latest reform to translate through the presence of parliament and vote on important laws. Alamiri said in a statement to the information that, the amendment of the constitution and the replacement of the electoral commission and the law has become inevitable after the speech of the supreme religious authority. He added that, the election law voted within the council of ministers is completely different from the draft law completed by a committee of experts in the presidency of the republic, noting that, the support of the reference in speech does not come through political statements but through attending parliamentary sessions. It is noteworthy that most of the political and parliamentary blocs and leaders issued various statements during the past hours announced the Sermon of Religious Reference on Friday. Next article of interest. IRGC Brigadier Iraj Masyadi, Khamenei's secret governor of Iraq suppresses popular uprising in the guise of Iranian ambassador. IRGC Brigadier Iraj Masyadi. Executive Summary. 
Qasem Soleimani, the commander of the Islamic Revolutionary Guards, IRGC, Quds Force, plays a well-known role beyond Iran's borders, which has been widely covered by international press agencies. Yet, the name and the key role of Iraj Masyadi, the Iranian regime's ambassador in Iraq and one of Soleimani's deputies, is less well known. Masyadi is the field commander for the Iranian regime and the third highest ranking officer in the Quds Force. Masyadi has a more extensive history of interference in Iraq than even Qasem Soleimani. Masyadi has handled the situation in Iraq for the past 36 years. All the Iranian regime's proxy groups and paramilitary groups such as the Badr Brigade and the terrorist operational units of Hezbollah were in certain Kurdish groups were under Masjid as command and on his payroll. In recent years, Masyadi had a direct role in the creation of the Iranian regime's paramilitary proxy groups, and now he directly commands and controls these groups. According to reports obtained by the Iranian resistance from inside of the Iranian regime, those who opened fire on Iraqi protesters in October were members of the Popular Mobilization Forces and Iraqi Security Forces under Masjid's command. Next article of interest. Cabinet announces releasing 1,650 of Iraqi protesters. Friday, 15 November 2019, 6.27 p.m. Baghdad. 1,650 of Iraqi protesters who were arrested during the demonstrations were released and 66 officers were referred to trial, cabinet spokesman Saad al-Hadithi announced. Armed gangs are exploiting the current situation in Iraq to carry out kidnappings, said al-Hadithi. The government is committed to following up the abductions that occur in Iraq as well as the prosecution of human rights violators. On his part, Iraqi Defense Minister Najah al-Shamari said, There is a third party killing demonstrators in Iraq. He added, The Iraqi army handed the federal police the mission of protecting the demonstrators, stressing that the injuries that occurred among the demonstrators and security forces came from a third party. Next article of interest. MP. Parliament may question Abdul Mahdi in absentia if he refuses to attend. 10.34, 16th November 2019 Baghdad, a member of the Parliamentary Front for Correction and Change Abbas Jaber al atafi Thursday, that the House of Representatives will proceed to question the Prime Minister Adel Abdul Mahdi in absentia in the event of his refusal to attend the questioning session. al atafi said in a statement to the information that the presidency of the House of Representatives waiting for the answer of Prime Minister Adel Abdul Mahdi to questioning questions to determine a date for questioning. He added, the House of Representatives is waiting for the position of the Prime Minister to attend the interrogation session or not, noting that, if not answered, the House of Representatives will proceed to question him in absentia. al pointed out that, the vote of conviction or not depends on the majority of members half plus one. Next article of interest. Iraq protesters edge closer to Baghdad's green zone. Saturday, 16th November, 2019, 9 o'clock Baghdad. Protesters in Iraq have edged closer to the green zone in Baghdad, security and medical officials said on Saturday. The Green Zone is the fortified seat of government and it also houses many foreign embassies. The officials said the protesters took control of the strategic Kalani Square in part of Cynic Bridge leading to the area after security forces pulled back following a night of violent altercations. Security forces are still deployed on part of the bridge in order to block the protesters from pushing into the Green Zone. Officials said a roadside bomb killed three people and wounded 18 late Friday near Tahrir Square, the epicenter of the protest movement. Another roadside blast in the southern city of Nasiriyah wounded 18 that same evening. Next article of interest. Tahrir Square protesters issue statement no. 3. 2019 to 16 November 11:52 Baghdad Iraq today. The protesters of Tahrir Square on Saturday, November 16, 2019, issued a statement No. 3, inviting Iraqis to come to Tahrir Square in order to stand, a minute of silence, to mourn the lives of martyrs, the events of last night, 
The statement said, Your celebrations of the victory of the national team, and the millions of crowds filled with Darier Square and the rest of the demonstration squares, on Thursday and Friday, have angered the authority and those with it, so they moved from the stage of intimidating people with sound explosions, to the bloodshed inside the peaceful sit-in squares. The statement added, he pointed out that the lax security in the vicinity of Tahrir Square and the entrances leading to it indicates the unwillingness of the government to secure the demonstrations, which is the primary duty of the security forces, and daily explosions only proof of this, so we will seek as protesters to secure the yards and the entrances of the demonstrators, hoping our loved ones demonstrators collaborate with regulatory committees to keep them safe. The statement called Iraqi women and Iraqis to come to the yards of Sidin and stand a minute of silence in mourning the souls of the martyrs of Friday's steadfastness at seven in the evening Saturday, November 16th, and lighting candles in honor of their sacrifices and pledge them that there is no return to normal life except the return of the country they wanted. Next article of interest. Fatah announces the launch of a comprehensive reform plan to end corruption and amend the political system. 1214, 16th November 2019, Baghdad. MP of the Conquest Alliance Mohammed Abaldawi, on Saturday, the adoption of his alliance comprehensive reform plan in the coming days, indicating that the plan includes work on parliament and the government. Al Baladway said in a statement to the information that the conquest of Fatah opened a comprehensive plan will be implemented in the coming days to ensure the rights of the demonstrators. He added that the plan includes the parliamentary part by supporting interrogations and legislation dozens of service laws, including retirement laws and the abolition of special privileges for officials during the next session, as well as support the government in the ministerial reshuffle. All political blocs of all positions and unified in order to make a comprehensive adjustment of the political system. Next article of interest. The protesters of Tahrir Square via a new statement, power has moved from intimidation to bloodshed. Saturday 16th November 2019 11.22 a.m. Baghdad. Protesters of Tahrir Square on Saturday issued a statement No. 3 calling on Iraqis to come to Tahrir Square in order to stand, a minute of silence, to mourn the martyrs' lives. The statement received by I of Iraq News, that, your celebrations of the victory of the national team, and the millions of crowds that plunged Tahrir Square and the rest of the demonstration squares, on Thursday and Friday, has angered the authority and with it, so they moved from the stage of intimidating people with sound explosions to shed blood in the yards of peaceful sit-in. The statement added that, it became clear, after each sermon of the supreme religious authority, the increasing repression of demonstrators with live bullets and various bombs, while the reference on Friday called for non-aggression on protesters, and that the battle of reform waged by the people is a national battle, stressing the sanctity the protesters responded by firing live ammunition in Al-Khulani Square killing four protesters and injuring dozens, before the Tahrir Square and its surroundings were hit by improvised explosive devices and sound bombs, one of which resulted in the death and injury of about 28 demonstrators, in addition to the losses. The material. He pointed out that, the lax security in the vicinity of Tahrir Square and the entrances leading to it, indicates the unwillingness of the government to secure the demonstrations which is the primary duty of the security forces, and daily explosions is only proof of this, so we will seek as protesters to secure the yards and entrances of the demonstrators, hoping our loved ones demonstrators cooperate with regulatory committees, to keep them safe. The statement called, Iraqi women and Iraqis to come to the yards of Sidin, and stand, a minute of silence, in mourning the souls of the martyrs of Friday's steadfastness, at 7 p.m. on Saturday, November 16, and lighting candles in honor of their sacrifices, and pledge them that there is no return to normal life except the return of the country they wanted. Protesters continued to flock to Tahrir Square in central Baghdad on Saturday, 
despite being targeted by an explosive device on Friday evening as the sit-in continues in the square for the 22nd day in a row to demand the dismissal of the government. The election. Since Friday, October 25, Baghdad and nine other provinces have witnessed large-scale protests demanding the dismissal of the government and bringing the killers of the demonstrators to justice and work for early elections under international supervision. Protesters suffered. More articles of interest to come. Hit that like and the subscribe button and check out the new CEP, Currency Exchange Planner, a must-have for both pre- and post-RV exchange planning. The link is in the description panel below. Be sure to tell them that the Denarian sent you so you get the extra pre-negotiated discount as my subscriber. I encourage you, knowledge is power, stay informed and stay alert. Over and out for now, the Denarian.